Nof Clipper, hi friends. Darth Momo here to do a kind of quick couple minute discussion. So, um, this was before the final episode of Star Wars The Clone Wars came out. I was preparing to watch it on May 4th. Obviously, it leaked online beforehand, but, uh, I was, um, I watched all of Season 7 again, and then I watched Revenge of the Sith to kind of cap it off so I can keep my tradition of, uh, um, watching the original Star Wars on May 4th while still going to work and all that, um, making my schedule for the day fit. So, what do I think? I'm going to be honest. Like, Revenge of the Sith is supposed to be a perfect cap-off, but it's harder now because back when the show was prematurely canceled, it kind of worked as a, to, as a finale. But now we have a real finale. And I just, I can't help but feel disappointed watching, going from Clone Wars to Revenge of the Sith just because the performances aren't as up as they were with Clone Wars. The whole movie is just an animated you know, cartoon with a few walk, live action walk, actors walking around. The dialogue feels odd. It feels a little forced. It's just, it's weird to go in literally from like two episodes of watching, or like the last episode I watched with having like Anakin and Obi-Wan, you know, being real good friends and seeing that natural transition and just a kind of, you know, weird forced banter. And, uh, I mean, I don't know. It just it doesn't feel right like it once did now that we have a proper... Clone Wars finale, and I would argue did things with Revenge of the Sith better. So, I mean, I'm not too, here to do a full-on review of Revenge of the Sith, but my thoughts are, honestly, it's supposed to feel good, like, and make you appreciate the movie more, watching the Clone Wars, especially because I just spent the past few months in the animated world, binging the show, and then, you know, 11 weeks of Clone Wars, but, uh, I just, it just doesn't, I can't help but feel disappointed you know it just things feel forced especially when you see this whole show of like just what a good guy Anakin is and then he flips the switch just like the clones and he becomes Vader all of a sudden and he kills kids like to me it almost just makes the movie worse than it already is if that makes sense but uh you know I can talk about this later on another time you know I just want to talk you know, briefly about what my thoughts are about rewatching Revenge of the Sith does it put things in new light? I mean, it can, but I don't know. I'm just, I can't help but feel just disappointed and let down. But anyway, that's what I got. Thank you guys for joining in. Darth Momo out. May the force be with you, always. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to the channel. If you liked the video, comment down below and hit that like button. Oh, and check out some of my other videos. I'm sure you'll find them in the light.